We'll now take a break from the story to look at George Lovelace's connections with the Methodist Church. The building to the right of the row of cottages was the original Tolpuddle Methodist Chapel, which opened in 1818. George had been born in poverty and deprivation, the seventh of ten children, but he was intelligent and strong-willed and educated himself. Like his father, he became a Methodist preacher. George always conducted his affairs with great dignity. He stayed calm while unrest grew in the workforce, always advocating non-violence but he also had to deal with suspicions and hostility when the Methodist chapel opened. This spilled over into protests, as reported by the Salisbury Journal. About eight o'clock, when the ministers and their friends were preparing to return, a mob of about 100 persons were found assembled near the chaise. These persons behaved in a most turbulent manner. A lady belonging to the minister's party was pushed down a bank into the road. The horses were much frightened by the tumult and noise, and the driver was for a considerable time unable to proceed. The ladies were exposed to the most brutal insults. For more than two miles in a very bad road, the drivers, horses and carriages were pelted with stones, mud, etc., the windows of the chaise were broken. One lady who rode by the side of the driver had a severe blow on her head. The driver received a blow on her head. 